about the first trimester of pregnancy. My experience, um, the, my symptoms, the kind of tips and tricks I had for those, dealing with them, um, and any like products or anything I was using. So I'll just get right into kind of a brief explanation of how my first trimester went. I would say it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Um, some areas were a lot easier than I was expecting. Some areas were a little bit worse than I was expecting, but overall it wasn't bad. I like, there are some days that I felt like absolute crap, but there was also some days I felt okay. Um, like normal pretty much. And most days were somewhere in between uh, that where I was feeling maybe a little nauseous at one point in the day or a little bit extra tired, but overall like the symptoms the stuff I was kind of the most scared about wasn't wasn't as bad as I thought it would be and in reality like even though your first trimester is I guess counted I think is 14 weeks but the first four weeks you don't even know you're pregnant so then you're down to 10 weeks and usually symptoms kind of start to fade out by the last two weeks so you're looking at eight weeks of really being in that first trimester um, and for me symptoms didn't start until week six so then we're down to what eight weeks I don't know math no I said eight weeks already six weeks okay point being it's not like three months of just feeling like crap or at least it wasn't for me I know some people have it a lot worse um, I would say I was definitely nauseous most days but it wasn't like overwhelming nausea most days. It was just kind of being careful what I was eating, how much I was eating. Um, a big thing that I felt helped with my nausea was making sure I didn't get too hungry. Um, I would get the most nauseous when I was really hungry. And then when I'd start to eat, start to feel better, realize how hungry I was, I'd eat a lot and get nauseous after two weeks from eating too much. So just kind of staying on top, making sure I was eating smaller meals throughout the day. Um, and yeah there are some days that, just, that just doesn't work where nothing really works um i only threw up i think three times which really really isn't bad but i kind of played like a mental game with myself to keep myself from throwing up because the very first time i did it was one of the worst like throw up experiences i've ever had i don't know uh hopefully this isn't tmi but when you get like where your body is just like really forcefully, you know, regurgitating all of your insides where you can't even breathe. And for me, it like went up my nose a little bit. And I was like, I kept, you know, going even when there was nothing left. And it was just, it was terrible. And after that first time, usually my throw ups are not that violent. <laughs> so after that first time, I was like, okay, that can't happen again. So I started playing this mental game with myself where I would start to feel nauseous and I would like lay down if I could. Um, or I, for me, ice water really helped. Something about having some like cold, I don't know, so, something cold going the opposite way that throw up would go. <laughs> that helped a lot. Um, Cause it would, not like it would necessarily settle my stomach, but it would take away that feeling right up here you get when you are about to throw up. Um, so I would drink ice water or lay down if I could, like if I was at home. Um, basically my number one rule is don't walk into the bathroom because I know that as soon as I see the toilet, like my brain's going to say, okay, it's a, it's time to throw up now. So unless it was a hundred percent an emergency, I wouldn't go in the bathroom. And I think that that saved me like a good probably like 10 times that I maybe would have thrown up that I didn't because I just didn't go to the bathroom. <laughs> so the one symptom that, or actually one of the symptoms I didn't realize was gonna be so bad was the fatigue. It wasn't every day and you know, luckily I my first round of fatigue hit when I was actually off work. Um, I had taken a vacation and so that was nice because I could literally do nothing but lay in bed all day for three days straight, um, which is what I did. But yeah, the fatigue is real. And for me, it wasn't every day, but when it hit, it hit hard. And it was like, I guess that was kind of a version of pregnancy brain because I couldn't function. Like my, I was so tired. 
My brain hardly worked. I had no motivation to do anything. Um, but luckily, you can have caffeine while you're pregnant. Um, you just have to watch the amount. And so my kind of rule of thumb is I try not to have caffeine unless I feel like I need it. Uh, just that way I can save my 200 milligrams, which is the upper recommended amount for when I really need it. Um, some people choose not to have any caffeine at all, but um, from the studies that I've looked at, it's never, it's not been proven unsafe below 200 milligrams. It's just an extra precaution if you want to do less or none at all. Let's see, what other symptoms? Symptoms, symptoms. Um, mm, this one's fun to talk about. One symptom that I totally didn't realize would happen, especially not in the first trimester, was constipation. <laughs> yeah, it was, I'm usually someone that's like on a pretty regular schedule and that same week I was on vacation, I like was like, I haven't pooped in like three days something's wrong but no that is just kind of how it is and for me I asked my OB when I went to my first appointment and he said I can take stool softeners but I wanted to just try fiber supplements first uh, just because I've kind of just been trying to avoid all kinds of medication so um, I started with this just like a clear fiber you add it to water whatever you want um, it's actually not very high in fiber, only three grams, but I felt like it pretty much helped. I would actually mix it with cranberry juice, which I'm still drinking my cranberry juice, um, just because you're at a lot higher risk for UTI while you're pregnant, and cranberry juice um, can help with that. But I don't know, I have found that the clear fiber works fine, but I've actually found these fiber gummies that I like a lot better. For one, they taste good, two, they're a lot higher, well, I wouldn't say a lot higher in fiber, they're six grams versus three grams. Um, but that way, sometimes I don't drink the cranberry juice and that way I actually get the fiber in every day, um, doing the gummies. Um, I would say that was kind of the extent of my symptoms. I didn't have a lot of cravings, mostly like ice water. <laughs> it sounds like such an odd craving, but just like really ice cold water. It made me feel so good. I was thirsty. Oh, I guess that's a symptom. I was thirsty all the time and I still am thirsty a lot but that's good because you need extra water while you're pregnant and your body just naturally gets more thirsty so that helps um thirsty all the time so i pretty i'm pretty sure that's kind of the majority of my sim oh my gosh dexter i'm busy no i'm busy he's not gonna stop I swear I just checked on him. He is not dying out there. Contrary to what he would have you think. So I would say that was pretty much the extent of my symptoms. Um, what I would say was probably the hardest part for me for the first trimester was the waiting. Like waiting to tell people, which me and my fiance both kind of sucked at. <laughs> waiting for the first doctor's appointment. Oh my gosh, it felt like literally forever away and you I kind of felt, I don't know, like a little, I don't want to say like alone. I felt just, I don't know. I didn't feel like it was going to be real to the first doctor's appointment until we got some proof other than just like pee on a stick that there was a baby in there. Um, but yeah, waiting, just waiting sucked. We, um, I when it comes to telling people, we told my like our parents and some close friends almost right away we were, I think I was at about at six weeks um and I know some people wait for until the end of the whole tri first trimester to tell anyone but the way I see it is if something were to go wrong then there are people I would actually would want to know I'd want them to know what's going on so that they can you know help us through if something did go wrong thank goodness it didn't um and then kind of after that we just we were trying to wait till the end of the first trimester, till the, after the first doctor's appointment was when we were trying to wait till, but um, basically all of our close friends knew before and then I like told my employer and Facebook announced it after the first trimester. So yeah, we didn't do a very good job of waiting. Um, but that first doctor's appointment, I went at, what was it, 11 weeks? So yeah, I knew I was pregnant for for about two months without even like going to the doctor or anything 
And I just wanted, you know, I wanted something. I wanted to hear a heartbeat or see the ultrasound, which is what we got because he couldn't find the heartbeat, which is really common at your first appointment. So if that happens to you, don't freak out. Um, what my doctor did, he just sent us to an ultrasound and she could see the heartbeat, which was really cool. And the cool thing too about getting an ultrasound at the first appointment is we actually got pictures. I think this is the best one. Oh, she was probably like so much bigger now than she was in this picture. I don't remember what they're at at 11 weeks, but I'm at 16 weeks now and apparently she is the size of an avocado. So, um, which is pretty impressive when you think about the fact, like when I first found out I was pregnant, said that the baby was the size of a poppy seed and in four months is like an avocado. So, it's kind of cool. I don't know if I have any tips for making the waiting part easier other than just like do what you feel comfortable with. If you don't want to tell people, don't tell people. It's okay. If you, you know, want to tell everyone early on, just go at like kind of think about, you know, the different outcomes of what could happen and who you want there and who you want to know. And maybe, you know, if you're really comfortable with a large support group, then just go ahead and tell everyone. I felt, really felt like once we told people, things started just going faster. Because is you could finally talk about it. You could finally tell people maybe why you're feeling crappy that day or I don't, I don't know, talk about being excited for things and planning for things and it just it makes everything so much better when everyone knows, it really does. Um, but once everyone knows, <laughs> the, the one thing I noticed is that every time they see you, they ask how you're feeling. Every time, like, oh, how are you feeling? And it's like, the same. I feel like I'm in my first trimester. I feel tired. I feel a little nauseous and yeah, but it's not that bad. I'm getting through it. I feel like that's what I said to everyone. I was like, oh, I mean, I don't feel great, but I don't feel terrible. It's fine. And then I, most people proceed to tell you about someone they heard that had it worse. Being like, oh, my cousin like couldn't even get out of bed. She was throwing up every day and lost 10 pounds and all this stuff. And I was like, okay, yeah, that sucks. I understand people have it worse, but you know, I, I still don't feel great. <laughs> So it doesn't really help to hear about someone that had it worse because it doesn't make me feel better and it's not, whatever, it's not that annoying. It's just when it happens like 10 times, it, it gets a little bit redundant, but I'm sure that'll probably be how the pregnancy is the whole time. And the more I show, I'm sure the worse it will get. A couple things that kind of surprised me about the first trimester was that uh, one, my boobs grew pretty quick and I was seriously in my brain, I was like, girl, you already got big boobs, don't worry, they're really not gonna get bigger. But they did, um, and I'm not a fan of my boob size, and so getting bigger was not like something I really wanted to happen or looked forward to and I'm not enjoying because, gosh, they're heavy, you know? They're like heavy and they're painful and I don't have a bra at the moment other than a sports bra, which is what I wear every time I get home that doesn't dig and doesn't hurt and I basically just loosened all my bras all the way and bought these little guys for off of Amazon. They're just these little bra extenders. That way I don't have to buy brand new bras for you know this part of my life. I know I'll have to get some nursing bras down the road but um, these are working for now. I'm still not like there's my bras still aren't super comfortable. Not like they were super comfortable before, but they were manageable before. Um, but yeah, the bra extenders help. Loosening up the straps helps. I just hope that, you know, you had average size boobs or less to begin with because when they get this big, it's just, they're always like heavy and in the way and annoying and I'm gonna stop complaining because it's not really that bad. What else I found kind of surprising was that during the first trimester, my stomach looked pretty different day to day. Probably a lot of that was from the constipation, but some days I would wake up. I mean, this probably was going on for the first eight to 10 weeks. I would, you know, wake up and just look totally normal. Most days I looked normal with a little bit of bloat, but some days it would look like it would really stick out. I'd be like, oh, am I showing? And then like two days later, I'd wake up and look totally normal. So. Um, that was surprising to me that it wasn't, it's not just like a steady progression. It's more like depending on 
I guess, how much you ate that day and everything else. Um, now that I'm at 16 weeks, I like show some all the time. I still don't think I look pregnant. I just maybe look like I've had a few too many cheeseburgers, but um, that's kind of, I guess, been my experience with the first trimester. If I have any advice for someone that's like just gotten pregnant, it's a little bit worried about it, the best thing I can tell them is that you'll get through it. Whether you have a similar experience to me, easier or worse, it is a like defined amount of time. I mean, some people do have nausea later than the first trimester. In fact, I have been still having nausea off and on, definitely not as frequently, definitely not as bad. Um, but you know, you will, you'll get through it and I don't, just try, take care of yourself the best you can. If you're feeling super exhausted and fatigued, let the house get messy, let people help you, you all the generic advice, but it, it is good advice. I don't know. And you know, I would definitely say to people, just remember your body is going through a lot, a lot of changes. Um, and if you're looking for any like nutrition or um, supplement or like weight gain advice, you can just comment below and I'll answer anything that I know. I mean, I know a lot about nutrition because I'm a dietitian, but, um, or anything just about my experience. A couple of things, you'll definitely want to be on a prenatal vitamin. Want to make sure that it has at least 800, was it milligrams or micrograms? But the number will be 800 of folic acid. Um, that's super, super important during your first trimester. Um, and then, you know, it's normal to gain anywhere from zero to five pounds in the first trimester, but some people do lose because uh, you're like, if you're sick really a lot, a lot. Um, but if you start out like tending towards underweight and you do start to lose, I would say go ahead and call your doctor right away because um, that can be dangerous. But you know, if you're at a normal weight or a little bit overweight and you lose out, you know, and you lose a little bit, it's okay. And honestly, I, I have my weights here, so I'm looking at them. I kind of went up and down for the first 10 weeks. And then after 10 weeks, it was like a steady up. Um, and just like your weight can go up and down. Some days you'll feel really hungry. Some days you'll feel really sick. And it's even past the first trimester. I feel like that still happens. Like yesterday, I couldn't stop eating. Today, it's you know, not so much. Um, but it's like, it's normal. The, it is so much more important that your total weight gain throughout pregnancy, which should be anywhere from like 20 to 30 pounds, depending on the weight you start out at. Um, but that is so much more important than your week to week. Um, any other advice, I guess? Well, for me, uh, this thing is a little personal, but not everyone was super stoked that I was pregnant. People that I thought would be weren't just because I'm not married, <laughs> like actually married. We were engaged. Yeah, okay, we, we knew we were pregnant when we got engaged, but we were planning on getting engaged and married before then. Um, oh yeah, I'm sure a million and one people think that we just got engaged because we got pregnant, which is fine. People can think what they want. We've been together six years now and like have a house and all kinds of other stuff that basically we're practically married, just not legally married. <laughs> um, but that was, that was harder than I thought it was gonna be when people weren't like happy for us. Um, that I thought, especially the ones that I thought would be, if that is where you're at in your life, be prepared for some people to not accept it. But yeah, so that's basically a more comprehensive review of the first trimester than I intended. Oh wait, one more little surprise. Um, as I drop the phone. So. I found this video on YouTube because when you're pregnant, you tend to search everything pregnancy baby related on YouTube, Google, Pinterest, whatever. Um, but where she talks, the person who I can't remember her name, talks about all these ways to get free stuff for babies. And I just wanted to show you real quick all the free stuff that I have gotten from her video and her tips, and I haven't even done all of it yet. So. I will link that video below. Um, it 
all of it was super easy to do. I didn't do some of the stuff that was harder, like stuff that included leaving the house. No, everything was on the computer. Everything was super easy, took not that much time. Um, and you get free stuff and it's awesome because babies are expensive. Anything helps. So I will link that below. Thanks for watching. All right, bye.